Hello Wargamers, it's me Callum from Tabletop Banter and today I'm going to do another 1000 for 100 video uh, this time going over the Astra Militarum list um, that a friend of mine actually uh, uh, predominantly put together and then I made a couple of adjustments um, this list, and I thought this would be a hard army uh, to get under £100 uh, this list is £94 uh, and takes you up to the full 1000 uh, it's pretty specialist but the list that I wrote was worse, so I have gone with uh, my friends, my friend Harry's. Uh, I'm sure he won't mind me saying his name. <laughs> He'll find out when he sees it. Um, so I'll just get straight into it this time, I suppose. Um, so first up, as an HQ choice, we have a uh, tank commander. Now, two tanks there in, in the commander's squad. Uh, firstly... Tank Commander, no, Knight Commander Pask's uh, Punisher with his Punisher Gatling uh, Cannon. Gatling Cannon? Could be Gatling Gun. I think it's Gatling Cannon. It is. Um, well, they're both Lehman Russ chassis, so front and side armor, well, front 14, side 13. Um, difference here is the Lehman Russ Punisher has rear armor 11 and ballistic skill 4. So. I like that. I like that quite a lot. I love the front armor 14 because you just plonk it somewhere and then it does a lot of damage. Um, and I like the increased ballistic skill from Knight Commander Pask, so he hits on threes uh, with a heavy 20 weapon. Heavy 20. It's only it's strength five, but when you're putting out 20 shots, you, you it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's hard to and it's yeah. Just a bit painful to go up against, I believe. Um, and then the other tank is a battle tank, so regular battle cannon. Uh, both of them have multi melter sponsons, and then a whole plethora of additions, like uh, hunter killer miss missile, las cannon, las cannon on both of those, and smoke launchers. And oh, it's just it's full. Everything that could be upgraded was upgraded. The reason being, the more points you have per model, the less you spend on a whole army. <clears throat> so. Yeah, I mean, that's they're pretty devastating units to have, I think. Um, on to troops, which is actually the only slot left in this entire list. And no shock, it's a guard army, but, you know. So first up, a squad of veterans uh, with flak armour. Now in this squad, uh, they have the, de the demolitions rule. Uh, so melter bombs for everyone. Uh, Sergeant Harker as well, so he has his payback weapon which is strength 5 AP4, heavy 3 rending which is pretty good, um, and he has a, well they've all got ballistic skill 4 which is pretty handy too. Uh, in terms of the weapons, 5 of the veterans have uh, las guns and 3 of them have plasma guns, so this this kind of, this is the kind of unit you advance quickly, you try and get it in a melter bomb range of some uh, vehicles or something, use the plasma on the way there, use the melter when you get there. Um, something good, to, I think this is the kind of, if you can keep them in cover, you keep moving them in cover until you get to the uh, opposition's vehicles, that's probably the best way to play with these guys. Hopefully they're thinking more about the Lehman Russes that are dishing out a lot of pain for their troops. Uh, so these guys could get up the board. I mean, they might get killed quickly, but that's not so much of a problem. Um, then we have a 100 point veteran squad, uh, six las guns and two melter guns. So obviously again, melter, really good way to go. It's, it, it becomes more important when they're close. So if you're a guard army, you tend to sit back and dish out pain. Um, so melter guns you might think initially are bad, but when you have Troops advancing on you. Sorry, I have the hiccups at the moment. Um, when you have troops advancing on you, um, it's good to have a strength A AP1 weapon, even if it is short range. It means if they get in, in a charge range, or a, near to charge range, you have that firepower. Um, you have that way of just insta-killing a, a Terminator. Well, or not insta-killing, but you know, killing a Terminator. Um, which is really, really handy to have, I believe. That, that's my view on it anyway. Um, 
both squads have vox casters i should have mentioned well all, all of the squads have vox casters uh, which is pretty good uh, this squad has carapace armor instead of flak so it's a four up save instead of a five up pretty handy for survivability um on to the next squad another 100 point squad uh this time it's two of the veterans have flamers uh, another has a heavy flamer and there are five las guns um Again, carapace armor, so it's a four up save, and all the ballistic skin and stuff is, is as was, so uh, there's fours. Pretty handy. Uh, what I would use this squad for, a couple of things maybe. It could be advancing for taking out hordes. Uh, could be sit back and fire, because when anyone assaults them, they get the wall of flames, that's three D3 auto hits. So you could get, you could effectively get nine hits on a squad. Uh, which doesn't happen often in Overwatch, obviously. That's pretty handy. Would I use them for that, though? Probably not. Uh, I, I would rather be able to use the Flamer templates. You can dish out a bit more damage then. Oh, excuse me. Right. Another squad of veterans. Wait, is that it? One, two, three. Yes, one more squad of veterans. The last squad. All of these are 10 man squads, by the way. Um, here we have uh, Grenadiers. They're all Grenadiers, obviously, because they have to have the Carapace armor for that. Um, two grenade launchers, a heavy flamer, and the rest are Las Guns with a Voxcaster. Uh, I like the grenade launchers. Okay, it's only strength three, but it's an assault one. It's so you can move and still fire it. It's a three inch blast. And I like blast templates. I know that they can do damage or they can just do nothing. But I quite like the fact that if they haven't spaced their models properly, you get six under one thing. And where a lasgun can hit two people on strength three um, with no AP, a grenade launcher is strength three, AP six. So you're playing orcs, you drop down a couple of these templates in their hordes and you're saying goodbye to maybe five. No, not five, it's strength three, what am I saying? Probably two or three. That's two or three more than you might have gotten if you missed with both the Alas gun shots, so... Well, excuse me. Don't know what's gone into me. Kind of was tired. Um, what else is there? Oh, yeah, the veteran in that squad has a power sword. I think that's the last of that, actually. I don't think there are any other major upgrades. So, really, with this, with this army, what you're seeing is the two tanks are going to be laying down a lot of heavy firepower. Uh, they can take out other tanks. I know that Gatling Punisher cannon thing is just ridiculously good at that. Um, then you have the battle cannon for hordes. You just drop a big pie plate on top of oh, anything. It's pretty high strength. It's decent AP. AP3? Strength 8, I think. I'll just check that. But that is what I think it is. Uh, where is it? Paper. So much paper. Um, battle cannon. Yeah, strength eight, AP three. Ordnance, and it's a it's the five inch blast. So you're taking a lot more models off the board with that one. And then you've got the Gatling cannon, which is ridiculously good. All of those have multi melter side sponsons and las cannon front parts. And there's a hunter killer missile on the command punisher. It that is going to take out a lot of things. Is it going to earn back its 500 points? I should hope so. Um, I would think that it would because they're just, they're hard to get rid of. Front armor 14, it takes a lot to get rid of that. So as long as they're plonked in some cover and you, they're pretty far back and they can't get to the rear army, you're all right. Um, it's, kind of, it's got good range on it. The multi mounted stuff is probably gonna be more useful for when you're getting attacked as opposed to attacking. Uh, I don't know. It's. I think it's a list that could work. Uh, looking at it, I know it's obviously probably not an optimized guard list. Um, but then again, two tanks and forty guys kind of sounds like the Imperial Guard to me. Um, I'd use it. I'd have no problem using it if I was a guard player. I'm not actually. I do want to get into some guard, but I like the Tempestus Scions a bit more. I think they're kind of more interesting. So I'll probably go down that route if I was going to go like the full on human stuff. Um, so yeah, you just sit the tanks at the back. You have your, your four squads. Maybe one of them goes out and acts as a distraction whilst you pummel them with 
There are various ways of getting rid of infantry and, and, and uh, armour too. And um, yeah, not much else to it really. Simple tactics, I suppose, if you're a beginner. Really great list to have. Um, that's pretty much an end to that, I believe. There are more of these videos on the way. Uh, like if you think, like or comment if you think this is a nice little series to be doing, um, or if you think there are ways I can improve it. Uh, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. It's nice to know that people are interested in what I'm doing. It makes me uh, want to produce more videos and write more blogs and get more people involved. Um, so yeah, thank you very much for watching. So like I said, don't forget to like, subscribe and comment and um, have fun.